what's going on you guys it's been a while since we've chatted uh, not a whole lot going on the kids are back in school and I'm off of my summer hours sort of and uh, I've been shooting you know that that's kind of just what I do and actually today I'm just out of work I had to pick up my youngest from school and there are just some wicked cool clouds going on there's some storms in mid michigan that are just kind of rolling through sadly i won't be able to stop because well my son's school schedule has changed they've decided to release them 15 minutes earlier than they did last year which is bizarre to me but um so that means i've pretty much got enough time to just get out of work and get to a school and get him so the days of stopping for a little bit of a shoot on the way and still being able to get there with some time to spare pretty much gone sadly so i might have to miss out on some of this action unless more storms are coming which i haven't checked the radar so that's possible um but i wanted to take a second today to just talk about something that i've been thinking a lot about lately and it's it's funny like i go through these spurts of like insight about you know my photography or you know what I'm doing with my photography and so this is the latest one you know my little emotional state of mind that I'm in um, so this past weekend was Labor Day weekend here in the United States and it's a, it's a long holiday weekend you know we have the Monday is always Monday Labor Day is always on a Monday so we always have that Monday off or a lot of us do so it's a long weekend spent with family and friends and of course I'm at the camper camping you know and out shooting and I went out shooting one of the nights this past weekend and it was a blast you know I went out with a buddy of mine Jerry James and another friend Walter Elliott and uh, we went out I went out mainly because I originally was just gonna go solo and wanted to go and shoot the pier in Grand Haven, which you guys have seen in past vlog posts or on Flickr for me. Uh, but I wanted to shoot it at night, which again, I've done before, no big deal. But the pier is under construction. They removed the catwalk from the pier, so there's no lights on the pier, which means it's pretty dark at night on the, in that area. The pier sits on the Grand River. The Grand River empties out into Lake Michigan. So on one side of the Grand River, as it empties into Lake Michigan, you've got the pier with the lighthouses. On the opposite side of the Grand River, there is another pier, uh, the North Pier, which does have like a little light beacon on the end of it, but not your traditional lighthouse. My goal, and it has been for a while, was to get situated on the North Pier, be facing south, and get the Milky Way rising over the lighthouses of the South Pier in Grand Haven something that really wasn't easily achievable or I don't even know how possible it would have been with the catwalk and the lights on it because they would create so much light now that there's no catwalk I was this, this is my chance you know it's to do that so um, talked to Jerry and said hey this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go out there and shoot you know and he said yeah, well I'll go so we headed out there and we shot and it was cool and then we decided to um, hook up with Walter and go to another town northeast of where we're camping, uh, a town called Montague, which is really in a, it's nowhere. It's a tiny place, very, very dark, perfect for Milky Way. So that's why we were headed there to shoot this really old barn again with the Milky Way rising over it. That was the theme for the night Milky Way. And we were lucky enough to uh to be able to shoot the aurora borealis that was putting on a pretty decent show that night in michigan the previous night it was even much much brighter show but none of us i guess were aware of it really so that night we knew there was a chance of it so as we're driving to montague to shoot we see the lights on the horizon so you know here i'll share the shots that i got of the pier and the lighthouse with you guys right now so you can see you know what it was that we were going after and um so you know those were the shots you know that's what that's what we got 
the reason I'm bringing all this up and what my current state of mind is, is that I'm realizing lately, and when I say lately, I mean the last year and a half, going on two years now, I'm shooting a lot less. And it's really starting to bug me. And the reason I'm shooting a lot less is because I'm really focusing on chasing after the really, really good shots. And that's not what I used to do. What I used to do is I used to just shoot. I shoot all the time. Every day I shot a lot. You know, I mean, an average day would involve 50 to 200 photos, you know, almost daily, you know, three, four, five times a week. I would just go out and shoot whatever, you know. I would venture out into the woods near my house or an empty field near my house and just shoot the grass and the insects and I would shoot the way the light was coming through the leaves or um, just anything. I just shot anything and I shot profusely, lots and lots and lots of shooting. And lately, I just feel like I'm just chasing like a really, really good shot. And if it means that I'm not shooting during the day or whatever because I know conditions don't favor a great shot, then I'm not shooting. And that's weird, I think, to me. Wow, the sky is so black over there. Um, is that bad that I'm not shooting enough? Or not shooting, not, see, I said enough. So is that like a Freudian slip? Is part of me saying that I need to be shooting more? Um, it just bums me out in a way that I don't shoot like I used to. And um, the, I think the quality of my work is definitely improving. I, I, and I'm wondering, am I doing this just to please like the social media crowd to always be chasing after like the great shot instead of just shooting everything, you know, and just kind of documenting everything I see. I don't know. It's just a weird, weird thought and, you know, weird frame of mind I'm in with my shooting lately. Um, I'm going to do that whole thing where I have, like, ADD and I can't focus on one subject for very long because as soon as I get into this clearing up here, I'm going to turn the camera and show you guys the sky. And, uh... <laughs> And I might be a little late picking up my son from school today. I mean, I can be a few minutes late. He can wait, right? He can wait an extra 10 minutes just for me to be able to maybe get a shot of this weather. Um, I don't know how well this will show up. I got to get around this person in front of me who's deciding that the speed limit is something that is up to their discretion. They're choosing the, uh, the much slower laid back pace of driving then I would prefer the pace I would prefer is actually just the speed limit so uh, <laughs> I can get around this person I might have enough time to do some shooting so let me get the camera turned here and see if maybe the sky will show its craziness to you guys you can see out that way so that's to my northeast uh, where the weather is actually it's kind of coming from the northwest and traveling down towards the southeast. All right. Anywho, there we go. Better view. It's kind of dark and spooky out that way. If I can find the spot to get that's got some sort of an interesting foreground and I can make something out of it, then I'll stop and shoot. Uh, so I'm going to turn off the camera now and just... Let me know what you think about what I have been thinking about shooting lately. You know, is it is it bad to reserve your shooting for just those opportune times, you know, or, or is that totally fine, you know, to forego shooting everything to just shoot those great moments? Holy smokes, it looks so wicked over there. Maybe it's because I'm wearing sunglasses, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to turn the camera off. And hopefully I'm going to stop and shoot because it looks beastly over that way. Tornado weather, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> See you guys. Okay, I found my shot. These nice shiny silver silos and this farm in the distance uh, enveloped by black ominous clouds being backlit by the sun behind me.
I'll see you guys tomorrow, maybe. All right, so pen F, 12 millimeter F2, uh, bracketed exposure so I can get as much detail out of those shadows and in the highlights as possible. There's a lot of water coming out of this storm off that way and right through here. It's kind of hard to see from this uh, perspective or from the tracker, but uh, doing these bracketed shots, you can definitely pick it up. Very cool. A little bit of thunder rumbling out in the distance. Man, it's days like today I really wish I didn't have to <laughs> run and pick up my son from school. Of course, it's only a second day back, so I probably shouldn't be late. Ah, a few more shots, though. I think I got some really good structure to show up, though, in these. Um, Composition-wise, I'm shooting portrait orientation to include a lot of sky. I don't know if you saw that lightning. Um, so yeah, the camera on me here. Uh, trying to do everything one handed. There we go. Um, portrait orientation so I can get a lot of sky in there. Uh, again, bracketed shots and uh, that's about it. The breeze is picking up. It's all the the air being drawn into the system here. Super cool. Oh, can you hear that? Love me some storms. Oh my gosh. That's probably the coolest looking storm almost I've seen this year. One other one that actually I shared on the vlog. Ooh, that was good lightning. Um, and aside from that, I haven't had much storm action this year, which is really depressing. I mean, the storms are, are my jam. You know what? I'm going to stay here for a few more minutes. This keeps changing shape on me. So I've got this little bit right here that's kind of, it's like its own little entity taking off. Oh yeah, this is going to be a good one. So anyways, like I was saying, portrait orientation, composition, trying to include the corn in the foreground to give you a sense of place, uh, as if the farms out there don't do it enough. But um, and like I said, I'm bracketing the heck out of these shots. Three, uh, three exposures at two EV each. Um, I don't necessarily need all that dynamic range. But just in case. <sighs> Several other shots too were um, panning so that I could stitch together a really cool pano out of this as well. The 12 millimeter F2 is great for that. Um, the distortion you'll find on the 12 millimeter f2 in my opinion is very minimal so it's easy to work a good pano out of shots from that man every time i turn around lightning so yeah anyways storm, storms get me excited they get me out of that uh that funk that i'm in all right i'm turning the camera off for real this time so i can get going to pick up my son i think i definitely got a couple of winter shots out of this so I did shoot, still chasing after that like ideal shot, you know, so I mean, you saw how many times I shot, I probably shot a dozen photos, um, one of them will make it online, good or bad, you tell me, uh, I'll talk to you guys later, bye.